you know, it's something that I always wanted to do since I was a kid, but I, I kind of found my way into it the longer route. Uh, because when I was growing up in India, cinema, and it still is, is a family business. So I didn't have any family in that business. Uh, but I, I had the good fortune to study in the States. And I studied economics. And then I worked in that field for two or three years. And then I kind of, and then I applied to graduate school for film. Uh, so I kind of found my way into it. I plotted my way into it. I was, I thought I was very fortunate that you know about, in my mid twenties, I found myself. I put myself in an environment where that was my only choice, is to is to make uh, movies or, and also I found over time that it was the only thing that I'm kind of remotely good at. I could never figure out how to do anything else. So. Yeah, it's something I always wanted and then I found my way into it. Well, you know, at the time, a lot of people were coming over to the States to study. And also, the universities in the States were looking for international students. And, you know, the States was also very attractive to me because, you know, there's institutions in the States, like Sundance, for instance, the Sundance Labs, that I always knew of and wanted to be part of. And when I came to the States, uh, you know, I, I applied to the lab many times at Sundance. And uh, the third or fourth time I applied, I actually got in. This was when I was in film school. So the US was always very really attractive to me because it had, you know, these institutions, you know, the, these great institutions that are nurturing independent talent. Like there was a way I could, I could see that there's a way that I can do something in film if I, if I go to the States. You know, movie set works the same everywhere. The roles and responsibilities are the same. And I feel at home, on a movie set pretty much anywhere but I do notice that it's very very uh, organized much more organized in in sort of the Hollywood system uh, in India things are still sort of very flexible like uh, there's a lot of chaos and but you know you can't you can impose yourself to a certain degree as a director you can make rules you can do your best to make the set yours but to some degree in India, you also have to embrace the chaos. Well, you know what I like most uh, is directing my own writing. Uh, so, and I think it's, that's challenging because writing takes a while, and and to build yourself of you know a pipeline of, of movies or projects to direct, that requires an investment of time, and development of writing is a very risky part of the process. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's both like sort of a financial challenge and a practical challenge. It's, for me, it's about figuring out how most often I can put myself in a position when I, I can direct my own writing. I would not give anybody advice because I didn't <laughs> take anybody's advice. Because all these journeys are so specific, you know. But, but yeah, I think one useful advice is definitely to surround yourself with people that want the same thing as you. and. Definitely to surround yourself with people that you like and want the same thing as you. Well, I didn't know what to expect, but I, I, I think it's, I found it to be a really, uh, a really friendly, nurturing environment. Like I enjoyed myself a lot, talking in that master class, and I enjoyed the questions a lot, and they were very sort of thought-provoking, and, and so I enjoyed the whole sort of conversational aspect of it. A lot. But you know, I always find that a, a nurturing sort of learning environment for, I mean, I think in the creative field especially has a lot to do with nature and where it's set. I think it's really nice that this is set near the ocean and in Portugal and, and you know, you can walk out and the weather is beautiful and it gives you time and space to think about what you just heard or, or learned and how, how that applies to you. I, I think nature is so connected to to try to learn something new or to try to find a foothold in something. I think these things work best when they are set in beautiful places.